thought my dog was dying. That was the thought that went through my head the moment I saw this dude pee in blood. The video I posted talking about how my wife left us. We're all bummed, I know. We're all bummed. Kara left us, um, so I figured I'd do a video because it's gonna highly impact the dogs. I talked about how I'm not gonna stress things. And then literally that day, this dude starts peeing blood. It's like, oh my God. Promised you I'd update you. He's still doing just as good as ever. He's still playing hard, he's still eating, he's still drinking. So the x-rayed Bruce Wayne, it looked like he may have very small stones, but they were so small it's hard to tell. And because they're so small, if it is stones, it's hard to tell if they were oxalate stones or struvate stones. I took a pH strip because if it's struvite stones, typically it's caused by an infection and typically his pH is gonna be high. If it's oxalate stones, his pH is gonna be low. The vet's advice, put him on royal canine kibble. That's never happening. You're not gonna ever convince me that kibble is a healthier option versus a species appropriate whole food diet. If you do research on kibble for a dog with kidney stones, it's not so much the meat that is going to cause them to get kidney stones. I'm gonna keep exercising him, but I'm just gonna make sure I don't overdo it. And if you're wondering the difference in between stones, struvite stones are typically like smoother and rounder. Think of like a, a rock at the beach that's been worn by water. And then the, the oxalate stones, think of Fraggle Rock in the, what it's called? The things that hang off the ceiling? Stalagmites, is that what they're called? They're all like jagged. They look more like that apparently. So it says, struvite stones in dogs are almost always formed because of the urinary changes that occur with specific types of bladder infection. Struvite requires an alkaline pH to form while oxalate requires an acid pH to form. Stone dissolution with diet is the least invasive and probably the best op option unless the patient really needs a faster treatment. I'm going to chat with a pet nutritionist later this week, make the appropriate dietary changes needed. Obviously I know how to feed a raw diet. I know how to feed my dog's a healthy diet. I know what to look for when diet changes are needed, but I'm not a medical vet, so I've never dealt with kidney stones before in a dog, so therefore I'm going to get some assistance on the proper things to feed him. I already think I know what I should be feeding him on this diet, but i rather have a pet nutritionist advise me. That way I'm not second guessing anything. He's acting completely fine. Still having fun, he's still playing, he's still exercising. We just don't want this to get worse. And I'm just really happy that I happened to see him peeing blood. Basically I've watched him pee almost every single time since then and it's just been normal pee. If it is kidney stones, I'm glad I caught it early because they're not big and that's why he's not in pain. So it's mid afternoon right now. The dogs are always laying low this time of the day and I'm hoping it warms up a little bit. It is so windy and cold outside. They don't wanna be outside. I don't wanna be outside, but I would like to get them some exercise and have an early night with the boys. Make sure you guys are subscribed because what I'll do is I'll like document exactly what I'm doing with his diet. That way, in case you guys have any of these issues, you kind of know what to look for in the future. Heaven forbid this happens to your dog. Every situation is different, but it just may give you like a path to kind of research and go down. Three, four weeks, he gets another x-ray to see how those stones are doing. What are you looking at, bro? What are you looking at, little man? Look at JJ's eyes change colors. Yeah, they're looking like Bruce's. They're looking like Bruce's eyes. Fucking big dude. I love you. You scared me though, bro. You're not supposed to scare me like that. Then Kara leaves, and I'm just like stuck worrying about you. I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad you're okay. We're all worried about you. Your whole YouTube fam out here is worried about you. And of course, I jinx myself. I'm not gonna worry about anything while Kara's gone. This dude starts pissing blood. Make sure you're subscribed. I'll update you guys when I find out what I'm gonna do with this diet. So this morning what I did is I took them outside and I just did drill work with them. Threw some balls to them. Mostly did drill work with Justice. Working on this sit, stay, self-control because that's like the basis of creating an amazing companion. A lot of dogs are reactive, but it's how they handle that reactivity and keep it inside essentially and keep that self-control so they're not reacting even though they may want to react. Just a set, stay. Okay, go get it. Let's go. Good, ready? 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. 